Hello, my name is Ardaloskaya, and in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how hackers launch DOS, denial of service attack. A quick reminder about DOS. In computing, DOS, or denial of service attack, is an attempt to make a machine or network resource unavailable to their users. Although the means to carry out motivates for and targets of a DOS attack may vary, it generally consists of the efforts of one or more people to temporarily or identifically interrupt or suspend services of a host connected to the internet. To be able to give you the idea, I prepared a lab environment which consists of Windows 8 and Backtrack computers. If you want to test it yourself in your house, all what you need is a Windows client PC and Backtrack or the new version Kali Linux. As a first step, I'm going to log into my computer and install Wireshark. What is Wireshark? Wireshark is a free sniffing program. To gain more information about Wireshark, you can always go to wireshark.org. And here's the website for you. All that you have to do is click on download, select the right install for you, could be Linux, could be Apple, and then for your second environment, you need Kali Linux, which is again free to download. To be able to download Kali Linux, all that you have to do is go to kali.org. From there, go to downloads. You can download ready custom images, or you can um, select your images based on VMware, ARM machines, Windows machines, and you can always gain more information about Kali Linux from the website as well. For this lab demonstrations, I'm going to expect that you know already the basics of computing and security. Now I'm logging to my computer. To do so, I'm typing my username and password. As a first step, I'm going to install Wireshark. To do that, I'm going to my install location. From there, I'm going to select Wireshark. As my PC is 64-bit, I'm launching the 64-bit installation. When the installer launches, I click Run. When the USC prompt, I accept that this is a valid program. Please go ahead, read the terms and conditions. If you agree, click I agree. From there, select the components that you need. Click Next. Select the location. For this demonstration purposes, I'm leaving everything in default. The only optional thing which I'm going to do is install WimpCap. If you want more information about WimpCap, please click in this or watch a different video which will explain you that and the installation will go ahead. Based on your resources, the installation will take less than a minute time. The WMPCAP installation will continue straight away after Wireshark is installed. and the installation will be completed. As I said in the beginning, this lab is not aiming you to teach how Wireshark works, so please get more information about Wireshark from wireshark.org or watch any other videos which you might have in your videos at Pula site. Okay, when you start Wireshark, please go to the interface list Make sure you select the right interface 
and start sniffing. With this, we will prepare our first step of our lab. As you can see, there is only one uh, incident happening, and this is just a DNS request to 8.8.8.8, .8 .8, which is belonging to Google. All right, now I'm moving to my second PC where I'm going to launch my attack, which is Kali Linux or Backtrack. Again, this lab is not covering anything about, about Backtrack. We assume you know Backtrack. In this lab, we are going to use HPing. HPing is a tool which is going to help us to create some sync flooding. And we are also going to use some HTTP flooding via Backtrack, HPing. To be able to run HPing, please come to Applications, click on Backtrack, go to Information Gathering, from the network analysis, from the identified live host, and finally select HPing version 3. This will launch HPing. You can always use the help file which is included here to learn about HPing, but HPing 3 is usually used traditionally to ping ICMP. Uh, to create ping or ICMP request reply messages to verify connectivity between two devices or one IP network. Of course, you can use HPing for many other stuff, such as um, finding out if your target network has a firewall and how you can bypass the firewall. In this example, we are going to use HPing command hping3 space capital S the IP address of our victim I'm gonna explain you everything very shortly dash a 10.10.10.10.80 is our victim's computer and we're using a fake IP address or in this case my own IP address to launch a SSH connection flood. As you can see, I'm putting the flood there as well. This is going to help me to launch some attack. So this S here, the HPing tree is telling Backtrack to launch HPing. The S command is to send some sync floods, the IP addresses of mine and my victim's computer. Then P to push the flag and 22 is for the, as I said, SSH connection. Then please type enter. I mean, please enter, enter. And as soon as you do that, it will start the flood. To verify this, I'm just going to my Windows 8 PC. And you will notice that my Windows 8 PC has started to receive lots of communications or sync packages straight from HP Ping. So, what did we aim in this lab? In this lab, we aim to send some huge packages from one PC to another. By the way, um, as you can see, the computer has been so much flooded, it stopped responding, which means um, the computer is about to crash as it's received more packets than it can handle. Uh, you will see it's coming back to normal. Uh, and here we go. If I being able to click my task manager, you will see that the network resource is really, really high. So what did we aim in this lab? In this lab, we aim to la launch HPing 3. And with HPing 3, I launch an attack as I explained. And uh, this was sending lots of TCP sync packages to my computer. Where is going to crash my computer? Uh, if you check the performance, you will see the CPU, the Ethernet is going high. And I don't know if you notice here, the memory is, is getting higher and higher and higher. 
which is gonna crash the computer eventually. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm looking forward to see you in a new demonstration. I'm Adolfo.